Okay, I think, wow, we're seeing real close together. Should I move over? No, I mean, your knee's touching my knee. Good morning. Good. Mo- Our knees are just touching. Okay, touch. Okay, we're touching. Okay, well, I'll, I'll move just my move. knee. Okay, I can't, but I'm in the center. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to episode 18 of Same Brain Podcast. Roll the intro, and then we'll talk about why our knees are touching. That's incredible. So it's very early. We've been trying to record this podcast for several days. We are actually traveling right now. It's the first time we've traveled in, what, seven months? It's been a while. Yeah, we got on a plane. We We got on on a plane. And brought everything. The amount of stuff that we brought with us, like I brought a whole production studio. I had lights shot home. Shot home? You had lights shipped home. Shipped home. This is going to be a very interesting podcast. So to preface this, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, we just woke up. We're in a basement. In a basement. It's very, it's very, we didn't wake up in the basement. No, I you did. You did. You're sleeping here. But it's a finished basement. It's very nice. Yes, it's very nice. It's like a real East Coast thing to have like a finished basement. It is. We're on the East Coast. We're actually in Maryland. And um, I'm out of breath from talking for four minutes already. That's okay. Elevation. Elevation's a thing. Yeah. I've been doing some running outside and the altitude here. It's very shocking how much that affects my performance. Yeah, I tried and mine turned into like a walk jog. I was like, I'm just, I'm on my own journey, but at least I'm trying. So we're here, we're going to do the podcast and uh, there's a lot of stuff that has happened this past week. We had iPhone, DJI just announced their new Ronins that they, uh, that I've had for a little bit, which are absolutely incredible. I have one with me right now and uh, Tyler actually took one to Carmel and he got such incredible shots. Like in the video, we kind of meet up. We're like, okay, I'm going to give you this one. And I'm going to take this one. And then we're going to go out and make content. And I was like, but yours is so good. Oh, like, no. We need to shoot something really cool okay. so we can make Tyler proud. Well, we can try because you know what? One thing I did miss about the East Coast in October are the leaves. Mm-hmm. And this is the, I feel like this is the most colorful the leaves have been in quite some time. Well, so it's pretty incredible. The problem is we've been inside filming videos and editing, trying to get up, like, you know, keep up with all these embargoes on the iPhone. So everything is happening. Yeah, so the Ronin video, it's the new RS2 and the RSC2, and these are these gimbals are incredible. So I'm super excited to finish that video for you. I'm sure you can find somebody else who has already posted their videos. We're working on it. And there's also the OnePlus 8T announcement. I know, I missed that embargo. I just Me didn't, too. I didn't have time to go shoot some stuff with the, with the phone, but it's really nice, the aquamarine green big fan yes and my video will be up eventually this week so we are finishing that up right now so very excited but the big news obviously as everyone has talked about is the new iphone 12 which we will get to after we read our reviews All and right. listen to our voice messages from anchor.fm slash same brain i wasn't logged in so here we go we're gonna have to listen to them off jenna's phone here we go love it love it wayne wainester wainster Wainster, our hero. Wainster 2020. I am totally loving your podcast. It's informative and humorous at the same time. I also love watching your YouTube videos just to be able to put a face to the voices I hear on the podcast. How are these faces today? My eyes are swollen. I'm, my I wake up with swollen eyes. It's the allergies over here on the East Coast. Yeah, and um, like when Maddie gets a little dirty, mm-hmm. like I'm allergic to him and I'm also allergic to her sister's um, dog a little bit. So yeah, swollen eyes. No surprise. Oh, that's nice. Here we go. Okay, we have a voice message. These have not been listened to previously, and I'm not attached. Atta- I'm not attached to the roadcaster, which not, we could not be, but we're up. not. Nah. We really should be. Here we go. Hey guys, been an absolute fan for years since the iPhone bill. So glad you've got a podcast. Can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Much love. Thank oh you, my Richard. Gosh. Wow, since the, I- the iPhone bill. That was a long time. It was 2007. Can you guys believe that? Oh, no, people weren't even born yet. It's true. Crazy. It's true. I could be your mom. I could. Wow. Okay, well, you could. Well, you're, we should talk you, about this really quick. Help, so oh. we were watching home videos and the the shot that we watched, or the clip that we watched last night, my mom was my age and she had three kids already. Yes. Us. Our, the, uh, us. I was learning to walk. I was walking around. Jenna I was, was eating sand. I was eating sand at the Handfuls. beach. Apparently I like to eat sand at the beach. Yeah. Th- and look at us. We're in our jammies recording a podcast and in the basement. And you know what? I just want to also call Thriving. this out. Uh, my sweatshirt says Hallow Wasted. I bought this on very, very incredible sale. Very incredible sale. I also just want to say I don't drink. So this is 
ir- ironic, isn't it? Halloween could be wasted on candy, which you don't really eat candy anymore either. Mm-hmm. You're just you're ha- you're hallow wasted on the spirit of spirit. October. This is a spooky ah. spirit. Okay, Dog Mom Twenty Two <laughs> said, "This is amazing. I used to think podcasts were boring until I found you guys. I watched Justine on YouTube, and I love your videos. Well, thank you for supporting the podcast and for being here. Coming off of that, a lot of people do think podcasts are boring, and there's so many really incredible podcasts like." Like they're scripted ones yeah. and they're so well produced. It's so incredibly impressive. They have like topics ahead of the time to talk okay. about. Well, you know, it's crazy. We try. All right. John and Beacon. Oh, John we, and Beacon. We don't know, but it's 12 seconds. So we're in for a Let's 12 second it. surprise. Hi, Jenna and Justine. This is John here from Canada. Canada. I just wanted to say you guys are doing a really great job with the podcast. I really enjoyed listening to it with my dog, Beacon. <gasps> Beacon. That's <gasps> Beacon. Whoa. Oh my gosh, oh, how did he get Beacon to on bark command? On. He, that was incredible. Wow, impressed. John and Beacon, thank you for listening to the podcast. What a great message. I'm it's super hyped that you oh picked my, that one. Me too. I'm really Let's good at this. Let's give them a. No. It's like, it's the there yellow. There it is. There it we is. Took everybody. Away our labels. So if you guys aren't watching YouTube, you're really missing out on some high action here in the basement. I'm so glad that I can't actually see what I look like in the frame because it's kind of far away. We're so so close together. We're so close together. (laughs) Yeah, we are. Last night, our dad made a little bonfire in the little, in the little, there's like a little, what's it called? I guess it's called a bonfire. A fire pit? A fire pit. That's my hair still it. smells like so it. So my hair is so disgusting, but I need to wash it. But if I wash it, we don't have a hair dryer. So then I was like, I can't wash my hair before the podcast because we need to like get this done yep. so that we can get the footage uploaded. Another problem with being home is that our parents' Wi-Fi, the upload isn't even one. one. No, it was like, point like seven. Point 7. So where we're staying right now, the upload is like 67 so we need to upload the footage. We need to get, hopefully, either Jace or Tyler to edit this. I know. And then I need to bring it back to here. So that we can upload before we leave. Watch export, and upload an hour 4K video. Yeah. And it takes a very long so time. So that's why we're like, we need to do this right now because time is of the essence. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take a... Spooky. I did some Astro last night on the Sony A7S III. I took some on my phone, and I was actually incredibly impressed because anytime there's like just a little bit of light and uh you know a nice starry night you can get a pretty decent iphone shot you can you can i um i also got a pretty decent shot i just didn't have the right lens on i was too lazy but i was like just kind of playing around and also making sure there wasn't a bear because maddie was very suspect when he came out to do his pps he was peeing and also barking and not having anything it was very dark and i'm like there are bears here bears all right so what are we going to talk about today? okay we are going to talk about the new iPhones. It's here. It's here. Okay, this is the I moment need, I need to look this up. We have waited for the iPhone 12 announcement, and we got a little bit of a surprise with the HomePod Mini. Can you believe it? Why are you looking it up? Let's talk about the transitions and the new uh, virtual events. This, I mean, Apple is setting the bar so high for any type of actual a presentation so i don't know how they're ever going to be able to go back to doing anything normal like an actual in-person stage event because in comparison not to say that those ones were boring but like putting those two side by side i mean it's just it's so much better to well, watch this type of content for sure i mean it definitely limits what you can do in person as well for sure like, you know i mean there's obviously limitations unless you have like i don't know special effects magicians oh my gosh well, who knows what you're gonna have on stage you could have a puppy and i'd be like oh a puppy well, but, yeah but like they're gonna have to figure out a different way because the way that they're doing these i mean they're so good you know so even if they we go back to doing some sort of like in-person thing it's gonna have to be i don't know i, I don't really know what the future is gonna hold no one does oh I mean, I feel like I'm no. finally sort of getting accustomed to what this new normal is. And I think a lot of people are, but it's still, it's tough because even here, I was very surprised that a lot of people did have masks on in on the hike yesterday. Yeah, I was actually very surprised. We did do like this little state park and we went and I would say probably like 90% of the people had masks on. And we're in like the middle of nowhere in Maryland. But let me tell you what. There's a lot of people who aren't wearing them. That's also true. We it's, drove past this other place. They were doing hay rides. <gasps> Not a single person had a mask on. I feel like I would want to wear a mask just to keep out the hay dust. Yeah. So I had to look this up because I keep messing up the dates. 
The pre-orders for iPhone 12 will begin Friday, October 16th, and they'll be shipping on the 23rd. iPhone 12 mini will be available for pre-order beginning Friday, November 6th. Ships the 13th. Okay, so then that, hold on, now I've got to get the Pro Max. See, that also is available November 6th, shipping 13th. 13th. Yes. That's the only thing I know because that's on my radar because I'm going to do some shopping. I just have to keep looking it up. Oh my God, I hear oh my dogs God. upstairs. Maddie. There are dogs There's and there a, are wild. There are, there are wild oh animals. Maddie, come here. Hi, buddy. Come here. Oh, Maddie, oh, join oh. the podcast. Oh my Hi. God. Oh my God. Hi. Oh my God. Somebody must have just went for a Did W-A-L-K. You? He smells like outside. He you does. smell like outside, buddy. You're cute. You're very cute. This is he's something that's happening oh, right now. Oh, oh my gosh, she's so cute. I want to talk about how small the HomePod Mini is for a second. Okay, so we're back on the HomePod Mini. So it's kind of crazy because they've managed to fit a lot of what is in the big HomePod into the Mini. And they've made Siri. They've improved her. Mm-hmm. She also, I forget what the percentage was, but she has a lot more facts that she knows now. I love that. I love facts. But I also love the new intercom that they kind of announced. I mean, they kind of already had this with Google and with uh, Amazon. Mm-hmm. I, mean, they, I think they basically, I think Alexa did call it intercom. Yeah. Did they? We, used to, no, well, they we would drop in and announce. Yes. yes. So we would, you would announce things on I the different uh, devices. I love so that feature. It's so great. So now it is uh, coming to HomePod as well. But what's cool about this is if you do have your family, whoever else is connected to that HomePod or that Apple account, you'll be able to announce yourself or whatever your message is across all platforms. So over iPhone, you can get it on your AirPods, on your Apple Watch. So it's not just limited to the HomePod, also CarPlay. Yeah, I saw that. Would it be like Wi-Fi enabled or just that account? It's account. Ah. Yeah, so I oh, feel spammy. like you could be anywhere. Man, I would be spamming you all the time. I'd be like, I know. we need to go. We need to shoot the podcast. I don't know why. Bring me a water. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I guess we do that now. Man, I miss walkie-talkie. I do too. It just never fully worked. It was, I haven't tried again. When it did work, it was incredible. Yeah. But I think the problem is... You just had to keep reconnecting mm-hmm. and then sometimes you weren't available. So it was very, it wasn't reliable. Never really worked yeah. the way it should. So there's four new phones. We have the iPhone 12 mini, Ooh. the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 pro and the pro max. And what's interesting is the iPhone 12 is, it's such a, a, an incredible deal because you're getting basically everything that you really could want in a phone. Yeah, we're going to have what? The night mode. We're going to have the ceramic shield. Night mode on all cameras. It is a dual camera lens, whereas the Pro does have three cameras. And it does, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? You leaning forward? Making sure you're focused. Oh, I don't know. I, I lean be. forward. If we both lean forward. Dual camera triple camera setup on the pro the pro has lidar as yes, well so yes that will also assist with autofocus. autofocus and if you are doing depth sensing and doing different types of shots at night it will help so much with that but i think the most exciting thing is honestly just i think looking at them all side by side the iphone 12 is like the best deal it's a pretty good deal. It's a very, very nice phone that I've seen. And like, yeah, and all, what, the mini is so cute. It's only $100 cheaper though. And it does have less battery life, but the 12 and the 12 mini, the specs are basically exactly the same. No except way. for the battery life. Yeah. Oh. So the only thing that you are lacking is a little bit extra battery, but the fact that it's so small and so cute. It's very small. What is it? 5.4? I'm going to get the compare. Up. I believe it's... 5.4 it's inches. It's so, oh, I can't wait to see Because I was like, the HomePod is 3.3 inches. The HomePod is so small. I mean, it looks like you could actually fit it in the palm of your like hand. You could wear it as an earring mm-hmm. or a necklace. Well, I mean, you really you could really do anything you want. You can do whatever you want. I think they say like, but that's okay. Oh. So I think I'm probably going to get the Pro Max. I'm a little worried because it's bigger this year. It's, so the screen size is bigger. It might be a little bit bigger, but what they managed to do is get the bezels down a little bit because the edging around it is not rounded. So they're able to fit more inside of it and extend the screen a little bit. So the screen size is bigger, but I think the overall size of the phone is about the same. I mean, after using all these Android devices, like those phones are so big where I feel like I'm just used to it now. Cause it's like, yeah. you know, like the, like the Note 20, like in the, um, you know, the Galaxy devices, they're long. So I, I'm ready. My, my hand is ready <laughs> for the bigger form of phone. 
But the 12 mini, it's so cute. So they come in black, white, blue, green, and product red, which I thought they were kind of interesting colors because before they were more of like the, they were going for like the, the pink colors and yeah. like the coral and the yellow. So these I feel like are pretty neutral, but they also kind of match the new iPad Air. I got excited about the iPad. I know, I'm really excited <laughs> I about excited. it. I started thinking about that blue color. We also did not get a fingerprint sensor or USB-C charging, which I, honestly, the MagSafe is really freaking cool. The MagSafe is cool. Also no 120 hertz. I know you're not like, and you're, you're like, I don't care, but man, it's so smooth. But here's the thing. It's, it's, I don't even know how to explain it because when you do use a 120 hertz phone, I mean, you definitely can tell, like it's, mm-hmm. it's unbelievable. Like it's really, really slick, smooth. but like still, like when I'm looking at my iPhone, like there's never a time where well, I mean, you can see a difference if you do have them side by side. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can't. I think it's just like there was those three things where I was like, oh, really? You couldn't have given us like maybe one of them. Mm-hmm. I just feel like those have been such prominent features in any new devices that have been, you know. That was our mom. Mom is in mom the movie. Movie. She's in the movie. She's giving Maddie his breakfast. He's, we oh. we're, we're struggling over here yeah, to I survive. Mean, I was shooting a video and then the dogs were barking. The baby. There's mommy. <laughs> My uh, she's gone. She's gone. <laughs> um, the dogs were barking. The baby was crying. I was just like, wow, but this is this is what we're doing. This is life on the road. <laughs> but it was actually kind of fun because it kind of took me back to, um, I don't know, like when I first started making YouTube videos. Because I mean, now, thankfully, over the past, I think, two years, we've been working with Tyler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's been so great having his help. And I know a lot of YouTubers have like huge teams and everybody to do everything. I mean, it still really is like me, Jenna and Tyler, like trying to create content. And it's a lot of work. It is, and I'm still editing everything myself. I and know. shooting a lot myself. The last like five videos before we left, I was like shooting myself. I'm like, I'm it's tough. so tired. Yeah, so I mean, I, it's definitely super helpful having somebody, yeah. but then I was down here uh, shooting a video and unboxing and like lighting it. I was like, man, I just need one helping hand. It would be incredible. It's just so hard because there's not enough time. Like we didn't get a lot of videos up that we were supposed to, well, I mean, that we should have or could have gotten up. There's not enough time. And our sister, Brianne, she's like, you guys just keep working. This is family time. We're like, you have no idea. We want to. We're like, this is literally the busiest week of it our is. lives. Like, There's been so many last minute deals that have been coming up. And I'm like, oh, this is so cool. I'm like, it's just these good opportunities. And I'm like, I can't pass it up. And like, yeah. I, I don't have a choice. But this was the only week that our sister had off uh, from work. And mm-hmm. she hardly ever gets time off either. So we're like, we have to go home. We'll figure it out. And we brought everything. Mm-hmm. And it's been fun. But it's also incredibly stressful, but iPhone 12. iPhone 12, well, okay, so bringing everything, bringing the cameras, now you know we have all of these new video and uh, camera features. Well, wait a minute, oh, I just do wanna say, shooting by myself with the A7S III, it was so much easier. So much easier. I mean, I felt like confident that if I was holding something up, like the, it would be in focus mm-hmm. and like the lighting, I mean, the coloring in this room is not the best and the lights that I have were also not the best, but I'm, I'm quite surprised. They're not These bad. are like a hundred for like maybe 40 bucks, which is still- For two? For two. For a set, nice. For a whole set, it has this whole thing. I was actually quite impressed because I didn't want to spend very much and I was like, okay, that still is a lot, but for what I got- It's pretty good. Look, what do you guys think? It looks nice. Well, we're not good- Examples. Don't use don't, this as a representation. Don't use this as a representation. Yeah, no, the camera has been really good for filming um, by yourself. Now I had to- uh, let you borrow, which I have, I think I have just given no, it's, you it's mine my, now? my second camera. So then also me trying to shoot everything by myself with only one camera. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I had, I was using the A7C, but then mm-hmm. I had to send that back. So then I was like, oh my gosh. So for, I, um, so I got a new credit card stole my and my b and order, like it's still, I have to call them. It, uh, it didn't get updated. So, cause my old credit card wasn't actually active anymore. So I was like, why is my order not shipping? So then Jenna let me borrow her second one. Borrow. And I now didn't get it back. She didn't get it back. So I'm just going to keep that one and give you my brand new one. You had Tyler and the second camera. This is this I is know. why I'm not making content. I'm so I'm in my jammies. Sorry, we are in our jammies. I got no slip grip socks. I got a I, I got, got Nike these, socks. I got these from the Amazon um Packages. I got those two from the Prime Day. They're incredible. So Amazon, I know we're, we're, we're really not, bad we're really, at topics. But anyway, Amazon Prime Day. Uh, they sent out this incredible package. I didn't actually get to post anything about it, but Amazon, I, if, if anybody here, Amazon, if you're listening, I just want to tell you that this was one of my favorite like press packages that I've ever received. This is the most exciting thing that I've ever seen. Prime Day is coming up and they sent this entire box and there's something that I can open every day. This is great. Tomorrow, 
get ready. They sent out 14 different, um, like, gifts and every day it was like open this on the first the second third up until prime day i'm like oh my gosh this is incredible it was so great i love so it great. so much so you got to like open a little package they had it all labeled and listed for which day i wish that i would have posted it but then i waited too long and then like basically prime day was over but i do I uh i do think that was incredible so thank you guys so much that was great that was such a cute little gift. that was fun okay we are gonna go back on topic okay because we are the <laughs> absolute worst at staying on track we are okay so first we're talking about let's see we were, uh, we're talking, talking about, about the cameras and the video because you were like, we bring a lot of stuff to travel. What if we just shot everything on the iPhone? So the new iPhone, this is really cool because the entire lineup of iPhone 12 will now shoot in Dolby Vision HDR. And this is one of the only cameras and devices that can shoot, edit, uh, color grade. It, it actually does uh, live grade each and every single frame. Okay. And it's really cool because this is across all the 12s. I have an idea. So obviously whenever we have the device, we're shooting the podcast, multiple angles. Did we just shot the iPhone? On the iPhone. That well, is a I'm good idea. I'm not here to give bad ideas. <laughs> and I'll I just thought you have... meant because we were shooting an iPhone video that we should have shot this on our no, iPhone. No, no. When we have the new phones, we will be, you know, we'll, we'll shoot it on the phone. That will also drive traffic to our YouTube channel yeah. because it'll be more visual. I Guys, like this. I have so many ideas before 10 a.m. Every single good idea that I've probably done that you're like well that's a really good idea it was probably Jono's idea my brain works sometimes but yeah okay so we'll do an i shot on iphone 12 podcast i love it we need to I make do. it look crispy back to the studio we're here we're in the studio with all those cheering this fans microphone is sneaky heavy i was gonna say that but i didn't want you to call me weak <laughs> I'll call my, i'll call it what it is my hand is getting tired <laughs> we're holding the microphones because i could not fit another single thing in well, my suitcase the, the stands well the, the free stands are really heavy the um the the psa mounts aren't bad but they're just like big like you do not want to travel with that justine's carry-on for her tech was probably 45 pounds i think it might have been I more think, i'm pretty sure that's illegal but it was like at least it was heavier than my checked bag sorry about so that it's okay um we are in a basement we are probably mold uh, mold and um maybe asbestos we don't know I don't, i'm allergic to something down here maddie just winked at me <gasps> are you gonna come, come back up, up here, and buddy. sit on my lap maddie come on you guys this podcast is it's it's happening honestly i don't know what you expected if you know us as people you should have known this is what <laughs> you're gonna get <laughs> so have we talked about how there's four new iphones yet yes okay so there's four i <laughs> <laughs> uh, just go watch my youtube video <laughs> yeah honestly so here's the thing also about podcasting We've been trying to do this and like I had makeup on last night, but it was like a long day of, you know, we were filming, we were doing stuff with the family and we were watching home <laughs> videos and we were in the basement and my eye, every time my eye at night, at like 11 o'clock, it starts to swell up and just <gasps> leak. Are you a pumpkin? I don't know. Wait, wait, wait what? Wait a minute. <laughs> Why would I be a pumpkin? Wait, isn't that like, or is that Cinderella? I'm not sure. Did I'm, she turn into a pumpkin? I don't know. I'm super Does confused. Something, wait, something, there is a, 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 a cartoon, a fairy tale, turns or into somebody a carriage turn- or a pumpkin. I don't Man, remember. I gotta, I gotta wait. No, isn't there? And I, then they lost the shoe. Is that Cinderella? No, pumpkin. Oh my god, we aren't really sure. Um, but okay, so there's. I'm four, pretty sure I'm not a pumpkin. Four new so there's four new iPhones. <laughs> okay, let's just go down. I, okay, so I think I had a point. You might have had a point. Your eye. Oh, we were gonna shoot it last night, but then it's fine. Yeah. Okay. So the 12 Pro comes in four colors. There's a graphite, silver, gold, and a Pacific blue. These all now have a new front. They're four times stronger. So four times drop resistant. And it's called ceramic shield. What does it kill you makes you stronger? Drop a more phone. Are all of our old parodies Jenna used to write on the Oh my the gosh. Lyrics? So, well, that wasn't a good representation. Well, no, either. but it's still pretty but funny. You know what? The iPhone 11 Pro Max, I have basically thrown it. I have tr- <laughs> I have treated that thing very poorly. And for most of its life, I had a screen protector, but I haven't for the past couple months. And even that screen is very durable. Do you remember when I first got this phone? Yes. At camera camp and <gasps> it flew out of my pocket. I didn't even have it for 45 minutes yet. And yeah. I forget what Sarah and I were doing. I think we were making some sort of a slow-mo video. Oh, we're doing a slow fee. Mm. Mm. And then the phone fell out of my pocket. I forgot about slow fee. I, uh, that was really a big deal. And then for f- four days. Uh, yeah. But the screen has been very, very durable. I dropped it faced. Oh, you actually dropped yours face down oh, no, on, the, on the road. I was thinking about it. Like, I wish that I had a drop counter because I have probably dropped my phone 
hundreds of times. I was running, running up my steps in my hand and it slipped out of my hand. It almost went through my wall, but it hit like, it hit face to wall. I'm like, oh my <gasps> gosh. And then I dropped it on um, the baby's like stroller, but the way it hit at an angle, it should have shattered. I thought you were going to say you dropped it on the baby. No, no, no. Baby was in the stroller. Baby was not in the stroller. That was the wrong sound. I repeat, baby was not in the stroller, but it's really durable. So the fact that this is now four times more durable. You know what I also think that they did with the 11? That's the sound I was The screen for. wasn't as, as uh, easily scratched. Remember the previous one two years ago? That easily scratched very, very badly. Yeah, mine's oh, gone. Uh, I just looked at yours. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I am. Remember when I said I had a screen protector on? Yeah. I should. I'm Holy definitely. Holy crap. I regret. And I take back everything that I have said. I just looked at my sister's phone. Oh, but the fact that this thing has survived as much as it has, because I am, you guys all know, I drop my stuff a lot, but this has been very, very durable. So the fact that this is four times more durable, that's 400, find my phone. 400% more durable, Blanket. which is kind of impressive. Okay. So Jenna is shuffling I'm around. I'm shuffling because I want you to see, well, this is also, I want Justine to see, look, it's <laughs> dirty, but look, no scratches. Okay. That's what just, those heck? are just watermarks. Wait, have you seen mine? Just take another, <gasps> surprisingly, it's not as bad as my last one though. Well, we're going to have new four times more durable screens, so ceramic shield. But they weren't calling it glass either, which was interesting. They weren't like, oh, a front shield, like a ceramic glass. Like it's a made of a, a new type, type of so, formula. Okay, so the iPhone 12 and the mini are made of aluminum, correct? They are made of and aluminum. And then the 12 Pro and the Pro Max are- Is a stainless steel. Stainless and then steel. It's a, I think that the back also is some sort of a, a glass, but like the, it's basically, I think the same material as this one, but it has a stainless steel around is it. Is this smudgy phone or not a smudgy phone? I can't remember. Cause remember it's, no, the, it's matte. Okay. So the, the 10, the 10 is max. That was a uh, smudge, shiny. very big smudge. Yeah, so this is it looks, nice. It looks like that the 12 Pro is sort of that similar kind of matte material. I, I can't, love I mean, this. you can't really tell online. And normally these types of events, we would have had hands on like right after the event. Ew, could you imagine touching no. a phone that slimes have touched? <gasps> I'm a slime. I, yeah, I'm a we slime. We are slime. Everyone is a slime. <laughs> if you say you don't slime, you're a liar. You slime. We all slimes. <laughs> <laughs> I really do like the matte uh, finish because my slimy self really smudges up the, the back of yeah. the phones. Well, I mean, I usually have a case on all the time anyway, so. So the big difference though, between <clears throat> the 12 the tw and the 12 Pro and the Pro Max. So the, the 12 Pro, oh my God, I, I'm, I'm really struggling today, you guys, I apologize. The, it's very confusing. Even when I was trying to shoot my recap video, I'm like, wait a minute. The, why is this so confusing? How many phones were there for the last launch? We had the iPhone there was the 11 and then the, the 11, oh my God, I'm losing my voice. The 11 Pro Max. And the 11 Pro. Pro, okay, so there was three phones. Yeah. Three, now there's four. But then there was they the, had SE. the SE. Oh, I wow, we. I'm just gonna tell you this right now. I love the SE. It is, so around the house, like I always use, I mean, I use my phone, but I use the SE to do like all of my notes whenever we're doing videos. And sometimes I'll hold that up above the camera. Like I use the SE so much. Like I use that phone more than you would ever be surprised. So ever be surprised? I, Are you su ever be surprised? I, you I, would be surprised how much I use that little phone. I wouldn't be, cause I believe it. I want to get the mini, it's cute. The Should mini I just, get the mini? You can do whatever you like. I can. So the prices, do we know prices for, I know that the iPhone 12 mini starts at $699.99. The iPhone 12 is $799.99. The iPhone 12 Pro so we, is $999. And the iPhone 12 Pro Max is $1099 starting at. Was I right? <laughs> I probably should have looked it I up. I probably first. also should have double checked your your accuracy I'm as well. I'm pretty sure it is. Well, I was hoping that it would go up to a little bit more than 512 because I have completely maxed You're out my phone. You're getting closer to me. Look at these legs. <laughs> They're in my direction. Scoot them over. <laughs> <laughs> the legs were getting so close if to me. You guys me. are watching this for information about the phone. I really apologize because I'm still not awake yet. I actually don't, I think I have around maybe like 250 in my phone right now and I do have the 512. Really? Yeah, 
Yeah. You have that much space left? Well, let me do a little double check. I don't want to lie to the people. I will get the 500, even though that really does add. You Look know, at my leg. Stop it. <laughs> that does really, you know, jack up the price. But they were able to keep the price at the same um, as the previous phone, which is nice. We don't, although we are now not also getting a charging brick. No charging brick. This was, yeah. But we're saving the environment, people. Yep. There we have it. You heard Everybody. it here first. They well, also you had didn't hear it here first. <laughs> a huge announcement as far as Verizon is concerned. Oh, we didn't even talk about the main new feature of these phones. They all have 5G. I mean, I think I'm just so shocked that that's news but, at this uh, point. But here's the thing. Like 5G, I don't want to say it's like, I don't want to say it's a scam. It's not at its full it's capacity yet. It's too early. early. It's too early. I mean, when I was shooting this video, I was the Lenovo was one of the first 5G PCs. I had to go actively try to search and find an area that had good 5G, which thankfully um, I went close to like YouTube space yeah. <laughs> and there's 5G over there because that's basically like the the uh, San Francisco, Silicon Valley area of Los Angeles. Well, this is a funny story. So whenever LTE was a thing, I was in college when it you know started to become popular, which is actually very close to where we are right now. And I was doing a deal with Verizon about one of the LTE devices and I couldn't even activate my phone. <laughs> so I had to drive over the border to Pennsylvania where I sat in a parking lot and had to like do this work so that I could get LTE to actually work. And that's kind of crazy because it's like, wow, now we're back here full circle yeah. talking about 5G and I don't know how it long is, ago that was, but. It is crazy, but uh, Verizon did announce that they're gonna be extending their 5G network nationwide, which is very exciting because 5G, if you've never tried it, is absolutely blazing fast. Like I'm, yeah. I just said it's blazing. blazing. I'm using buzzwords. You but are there, using but buzzwords. There is, there is no other way to explain it. It's so fast. I updated my friend's Tesla with 5G from um, my Note 20. It's incredible. Actually, no, it was, the, it was the Galaxy, the Z Fold 2, because where we live, like, you know, sometimes if your garage isn't attached to your, you know, house, it's underground, whatever, you can't update your car. And he's like, I need to update my car. I was like, this will be a great 5G experiment to come over. We can socially distance and you can use my my 5G network. And it was, it was very fast. It's super impressive. So, you know, when 5G is at its full capacity, I think it's going to be amazing. And what I said in my video is, this is how I explained it. Apple might not always be first to the party, but when they do show up to the party, they have the best wrapped gift. And then when you open up that gift, it's always quite exciting. And you're like, yep, Apple is here and they're doing it right. Meaning it's bringing it to the masses. Here we go. Let's hear it for Apple, everybody. Woo. I'm I, excited about the, the um, remember the, the, what is it? The family plan, the $30 a month, like to get the full trimmings of like the music and yeah. like the, the storage and the fitness. The Apple One, is that the what they call it? Apple One, I believe that's what it's Apple called. Apple Fitness. I'm so excited about yeah. Apple Fitness. Coming, it was supposed to be coming this year, right? Later this year? In the fall. <gasps> yeah. Hello, have you seen the leaves outside? They're changing. They are changing. So we do I, have a lot of exciting new things coming. We do. I'm actually getting really, really excited. When does the iPad come out? Uh, do we know? Did you see? We were so excited. So you guys, if you missed our iPad episode, it was really fun. But man, when I saw Bob Borchers up there. <gasps> Yo, Bob! I'm looking it up. Thanks for coming on our podcast. Um, but yeah, oh God, I just keep thinking about the production value of the entire Apple event. Like it was really, really good. I mean, I was definitely expecting for them to have like one more announcement, <gasps> maybe the AirPod Studio or what's Jenna has an announcement. Oh, 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 more evidence of fourth gen iPad Air release date from Best Buy listing. More evidence has emerged from the fourth gen iPad Air release date being Friday, October 23rd, thanks to a listing on Best Buy's Canadian website, spotted by Mac rumors. Spotted. Oh my gosh, we love a good rumor. This is from uh, 9 to 5 Mac, which by the way, same brain podcast. You guys, us, we were featured on, on 9, to 5 Mac. 9 to 5 with Bob Borcher. We oh, also were on Mac match. rumors. It was really exciting. Oh my, and um, I'm more oh, our all little of the our little podcast. So I re I read something. There was a rumor just from um, a Best Buy, which I feel like how was most of the, most of the things leaked that way, where it's like accidentally yeah. listed or um, I'm sweating, dude. Same. Do you want to go turn the air on because you're closer to it? Do we Here, have I'll, air? Yeah, right there. Here, I'll hold this for you. Okay, do a good uh, job. I'm gonna talk in both microphones right now. Wow, that sounds good. So I also just want to remind you guys how much we love this Rodecaster. I love it so much I bought a second one. 
Oh, that's probably why it's so hot down here. So you guys, this is a this is a podcast that is professional in all forms. Oops. It's professional. <laughs> it's not professional until we get an official sponsor. <laughs> wow, well, we still don't have a sponsor yet. Well, why would you why I am in my jammies with a sock exposing my leg. I'm just gonna say this, you know, the fact that this if if this sees the light of day is a freaking miracle. I think this is the type of content people want because you know, Justine, it's not as serious as our tech videos. You know, we're really just loosey goosey being ourselves. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to play. I was like, I'm not sure how to where to, where to go from. I there. think we're just accepting that this is just a this is an episode. It's I got episode. these jammies on sale. I went to an outdoor mall of where I got them on sale and I really enjoy them. I do want to say the one thing that the um oh, the, There's someone the dog coming. is snorting. There's some there might be. He's an snorting intruder. around. Who is it? It's Br- Brie. We're filming, so you'll be on camera. Yeah, if you, you'll be on if camera you, uh, if you come down here. <laughs> she said, "Bo, get back here." She's trying to take. We are going to get our other dog. We are going to get our other sister in the podcast. She did, well, she kind of knows it, but we're going to film she, it this week. This weekend, yeah, we, we need, have. We to. need to get the special edition. Maybe we can even have the baby in the podcast. It might be a little chaotic. She's a real cute little cute little baby. Can you get any more? I mean, this is a pretty chaotic podcast right now. I mean, we haven't told them a single bit of information that was we, valid I about the I have told you a lot of information. I gave you the possible price of all four devices. It might be I gave you a possible release date of the iPad Air. She did. Uh, leaked from Best Buy. You know, it's a rumor. I give you a lot of information, so I'm not really sure what you're bringing to the table. I am bringing... I, I'm not sure either. But. I also said... Some other things that I can't remember now. Oh, I was telling you guys about the Dolby Vision. So this is yes. this is really cool because Dolby Vision obviously is something before that you would need like an entire system, a lot of different codecs, a lot of you know equipment to make happen. But the fact that this is something that is being brought to the iPhone, basically the only device, like I said, you can create, capture, share, edit, everything all on this phone is pretty, I mean, it's the only thing. It's the only device right now. Does that mean that whoever's editing our next special, not next edition of the shot on iPhone podcast that it's going to be edited on the phone. Oh, how that's about on the, how about on the iPad? That we, that could be good. That could be realistic. Yeah. Also, um, Apple pro raw. Yeah. Which is coming soon. Kind of sort of like the deep fusion, but deep fusion will be on all of the cameras as well, which is kind of exciting. Much like the night mode will be on all cameras. I feel like they didn't really announce much about the front facing camera. I think it, cause it's the same. They did. Well, they do have night mode on there too. They did say that, but they weren't really like jazzing it up. There weren't any buzzwords around the front facing camera. I think that maybe having an improved front facing camera, because I feel like a lot of people do a lot of front facing content, obviously. Yeah. So I would, I, so reading rumors, even starting back early this year, I think that we really, well, at least I thought that this was going to be the year of really changing up the iPhone design. Mm-hmm. They did change the design, but I think I was expecting it to be like more like different, like super different. Well, I think also too, now that we kind of talked about MagSafe, but didn't really talk about it, having like that, like what we can do with now, you know, accessories and like third party accessories. I think that MagSafe is probably one of my favorite things because how many times have I, you know, I wake up and like my phone didn't charge yeah. until I got the Nomad charging um, base, but like you can put your wallet on there. Can you like just stick it to things? Yes. Like a refrigerator? So that's a... That was exactly what I said in my video. I, was, I didn't watch my, it. I'm sorry. That's okay. That was my first thought. I was like, oh my God, I can stick it on my refrigerator. I'm like, I'm not sure why that was the first thought that I had. That was also my first thought. Well, because what other big piece of metal are you like, cool? I don't know. Do I mean, you? I, don't, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Uh, no, I no. If, I wonder if it would stick to that fan. That's wood. That is a wooden fan. Okay, but they don't know that. It could I'm be metal. Tell, I am telling you, Ugh. as I am looking at it, that is a wooden fan. Also, don't put your, because- once, I know. And once it starts to go, that'll yeah, that fly was off. Be the test. Do not know about physics. 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 Didn't physics. take it. Didn't take you it. You didn't take any physics no, classes. No, but I, um, I'm so shocked. I was threw up. <laughs> I was really busy in the computer lab. Did you take any computer programming classes? Um, I so uh, I took some forensic computer classes. Okay, I was busy in the lab. Okay, I was actually busy in an actual lab of I science was in the computer lab doing computer science. Jenna, I can you guys imagine if I was a developer instead of doing this right now? I would be making apps. I would be um, investigating crime and bodies and blood. Let the bodies oh, no. hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. floor. I was also in a heavy metal band. Okay. What if that would have been 
the your route that I took. Your leg is... T- you have taken up all of the room. <laughs> I'm just accepting the fact that we're, we're friends now. We're touching. I don't want to be touching you. I'm so hot. So there was this all... There was this uh, girl metal band. Do you remember Kitty? No. Oh my God. I was such a huge... Like, that's what I, I... That's what I was aspiring to be in this band. Kitty. What? Oh my God. Let me find you a song. I have absolutely no idea. I wanted to work with animals when I was little because I love animals. I just love them so much. They're so sweet. Maddie, do you want to come be on the podcast I'm trying again? to find you just a second of, oh my God. Yeah, look at this. Ah, they're oh, so cool. I wonder what they're doing I wonder what now. Want, we'll have to ask Brie what she wanted to be. <gasps> I think favorite. she wanted to be a kindergarten teacher. Could you see us as a kindergarten teacher? Oh my God. This is my favorite song. Brackish. I'm sweating. This could have been me. I'm going to put it over here. Let me just wait till she starts singing. I wonder what we're going to title this podcast. Probably Basement Chats. Basement Sits. This is where our brains this is what I differ. To be. Okay, this get, is what get I, that out of here. That's what I, that was what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a chef at Bob Evans. And I wanted to be a heavy metal lead singer, but I also wanted to play guitar too. Bob Evans have incredible biscuits. They do, but oh, and pumpkin bread. They, oh my god, remember we had sometimes they had sour. Bread. They had sour um, the butter <laughs> one time. One time, I think I we know, both Bill ate sour butter. And you know what? It was worth it. It was. I was like, something doesn't taste right, but I'm still gonna keep eating the sour butter. How did we go from talking iPhones to sour butter? I honestly, I want to see the brain mapping of my brain and see how it works because I am very alarmed. We can't even title this iPhone 12 talking because we, I can't even seem to finish a complete sentence about anything. I can't anything. either. We can talk, we can say like, <laughs> we'll title it. Sometimes we talk about the iPhone 12 and sometimes we talk about spoiled butter. Did we talk about, have I talked about Dolby Vision HDR? Okay, a little bit. This is, so in my next wave of learning. Oh, speaking of learning, I just oh, wanted here to Here we go. I know. My Final Cut tutorial, where I teach you guys how to edit Final Cut, we just did an update with some of the new updates in Final Cut. So if you have it, do an update and you'll get that. And if you don't have it, check it out in the App Store. Look for I Just Seen Teaches Final Cut Pro. That's exciting. Uh, what? So going into that, I want to learn, I guess, how to edit HDR better because I feel like right now I'm just kind of getting by, like making things look good, but I don't actually know the technical way of what I should be doing. That is my entire YouTube career. <laughs> I just throw things in a timeline and I hope for the best. And I'm like, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I mean, a lot of like color grading is sort of just like having an eye for it, but also there is like a technical science behind it. Like there it, is. Should, yeah. So I, I don't know. Don't it. quite understand that. I think Maddie has a bellyache. Hey Maddie, you stretching? You okay, buddy? Big stretch. He, if you guys have animals, do you say big stretch when they stretch? Or I big say yawn. It. Oh, big yawn. Or big poo. Big <laughs> <laughs> He is just staring at us like, what are you doing? He's, oh, his breakfast. He's not, he doesn't want his breakfast. Speaking um, of breakfast, do you th- what do you think we're going to have this I already morning? Had, I already had breakfast. Oh my God. You I had, had breakfast without me? You were doing, oh my gosh. I just got a message from something. This is very exciting. Also, very exciting information. Very exciting, so I woke up at 6 a.m. So here's, here was the plan for today for this. Yep. We were like, we're going to wake up at 6 a.m. We're going to roll out of bed. We're going to get our coffee. We're going to shoot the podcast. So me... I woke up at 6 a.m. I posted my, I posted an Xbox um, impressions video, which, because the embargo was at nine, and I had to do some changes and, you know, edit, export, which takes forever. So then I was doing that, and then I was also editing a different video. And while that was exporting, I fell asleep with my computer on my lap in bed, and it got a little warm. Oh, you look at It was exporting pad. two 4K videos. I was oh like, my oh gosh. my God. I woke up sweating. It was incredible. I uh, also set my alarm for 6 a.m., and I haven't been wearing my watch just this past week in bed, I was like, I'll give my, my wrist a, wa- a, a, a break. A break, yeah. But I love waking up to the watch so much more now. Can we talk about bedtime? Because it's kind of confusing for me. I turn it off, but it doesn't go away. So I kept thinking like maybe I just was doing it wrong. But I feel like bedtime is very confusing. It's very confusing. And I turn it off. But every day it's still like going off and doing its thing. And I'm like, but I turned you off. And then if I set an alarm, so, sometimes the new format, I accidentally set it for PM. And I'm like, but I didn't, but you, you made this not AM. I do think there is some way that they need to fix and that because- some improvement. Yeah, I do like the, cause there's also the alarm. So you can just set a basic alarm, but yeah. then you go in and set your bedtime. And sometimes if you do, you can say, do you want this to go off every day? And if you do that, and then if you click it to not go off, it just says, okay, this one, t- it's very confusing. It's very confusing. And then 
like obviously bedtime, you know, it's like you're supposed to be winding down, but I'm like, I'm not ready to wind down yet. Like I'm, I'm still working yeah. and then I don't get my notifications and I'm like in panic mode. And I'm like, but I turned, it's so confusing. I think I need a tutorial. Well, it sucks because now I had to set my bedtime to 1230 because that's when I've been managing to go to sleep. I mean, normally I like to go to bed at like nine or 10. Oh my God. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> but I need to get my sleep. No, I do too. I do too. But yeah. And now I have mine set from 11 to seven, but I've been up to like 2 AM. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this yeah. is going to work. I need to figure out the bedtime or just turn it off. I, th I think I'm going to turn it off. So we're not going to be having a normal sleep schedule for the next couple of months. We're not. So another uh, thing that I think some people did miss in the keynote is the camera is slightly different in the pro max it has a telephoto of a 65 millimeter focal length so in the previous in the pro and the 12 it's 52 so this will allow you to have better like portraits and then you can optically zoom in two times more to even get a closer shot oh wow and then also in the pro max so there's three cameras there's the ultra wide the wide angle and the telephoto. So the, the wide angle on the Pro Max, it has a 40% larger pixel sensor. So with this, you're gonna be able to get better low light photos. And then it has this new sensor shift technology to help with optical image stabilization. So they're not necessarily stabilizing the lens. They're actually stabilizing the sensor. I wonder if they can stabilize my life. I don't think so. Please. I am excited though, because I feel like most of the time I just I'm like, I just, I know my phone's going to take a good picture. I know it's going to take a good video. I'm like, this is great. This is great. Use that hashtag shot on iPhone. Chris, big content. I'm still waiting for my billboard. I know <sighs> I haven't earned it yet, but. You have a lot of really great shot on iPhone shots. I do. I do. And I am going to be better this year. This is the year that I'm going to get a shot on iPhone billboard if they still are doing it. I think they are. <gasps> it, it will say Jenna E. Oh my God. That'd be so cool. And then I'm going to be like, it's me. It's me, Jenna E. It's oh her. my God. I, I'm getting a billboard. You have to. What well, I don't you have, get to. A good I shot. have to earn it. You got to get a good shot. Okay. I was I'm also very impressed. So our other sister, Brie, we've talked about before, who was very not tech savvy, so not tech savvy that she did a PowerPoint and had to call us and ask us if she had to go to the mall to buy something to open the PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. All that being said, <laughs> she took some really great iPhone photos she did. with her phone and she was like, I was so impressed. Like they and were that's very the good. iPhone 10. 10. 10 or 10S. I think she's a 10. I think it's a 10. I, I don't it's know. It's a 10. It's one of my, I think it's like, yeah, because it was my older phone that she like, I, yeah. And the photo was incredible. So I was very, very impressed. Very nice But photo. I think that's what great is great about the iPhone is the fact that, oh, I think we have a text. Oh, Brianne, uh, she just sent us a text message. She said, uh, walking now, do you want to come? Um, we're, this is live. This is live right now. This is live on the scene, on the podcast, in the basement, in our jammies. We should have just done this as a live. <laughs> I brought my Elgato. We could not do that because you absolutely never know what is going to come <laughs> barreling down that those stairs. You don't know what's going to happen. There might be a naked baby. Yeah, there we don't might know. be. We don't oh know. Oh my gosh. There was something else. Was I talking about I have two seconds no, ago? Oh, iPhone, uh, her phone, our sister doesn't know how to open a PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Took a good uh, shot on iPhone yeah. picture. So, I mean, the photos and stuff are just getting better. And the fact that now every single lens will have deep fusion. They will all have night mode and also night mode time lapses. I am excited. I They didn't really say anything about Astro, but I'm wondering, could it do, you know, I would imagine. I mean, if you could do night mode time lapses. But it's hard because it's like the star trail. I don't know. Yeah, well, It would I'm be not, sort of the same. I mean, I think you could probably, I mean, I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. But, but I, that could open it up to maybe any third-party apps. Because there true. are third-party apps who are, you know, you know, could try to do like the, the star trails and like the time lapse. Well, the yeah, Astro, because but if, I mean, obviously how? they do open up the API. So they would be able to, you know, kind of utilize uh, the features. Yeah. Super cool. They also didn't really mention much about any like, well, oh, they did mention uh, gaming. I was gonna say they didn't mention much third party stuff. But they, um, what's wrong? His leg is just in the shot. It is in the shot, but his leg is like centered in the it shot. Is. If you're watching the YouTube video, oh, the sorry. gaming, well, they talked about Riot. The, yeah, Riot. That's just League of Legends. Exciting. Wild Rift, which is really, really cool. Um, I think I talked about also in my video how incredible it is, like what Riot has done to push esports forward. I mean, they've done. It, it's really crazy because even people that have never really watched League of Legends or I guess really game, mm -hmm. people like they were watching these tournaments and just kind of really grasped how expansive gaming is mm -hmm. and how you can make this into a whole esports I think I mean like they have an arena. I know. I wish I would know the stats of what like the the view like hours and watch time and numbers that they had for people watching like the League of Legends, but it was crazy. I mean, we used to go to all of the, the matches in I Santa know. Monica. Like it was so freaking fun it like, was pretty cool and like you could get so into i mean it was like an actual sport and i think 
what they did with that, it really did make people realize like, wow, this is freaking huge. Well, now it's going to be more accessible because obviously like having a PC and having something that's capable of handling that game. Like now, if you have a phone and you have, you know, you can play this game on your phone and that's going to be, that's going to be even bigger. Yeah. Think about and it. The A14 bionic chip is in all of the iPhone 12s. Yeah. So that's huge because this is an updated chip. And that I believe it's the same one that's in the iPad as well. I was the iPad, say, Air. Yeah, iPad has the, yeah. A14. Let me give you let me give you the specs here. Let me look them up, my friend. The microphone is so heavy. It's really freaking heavy. <laughs> um, the A14 Bionic chip is 40% faster than the A13. It has 50% faster graphics, a six core CPU, four core GPU, all while this is for on the iPhone uh, 12. And they managed to still make the phone 11% thinner, 15% smaller in volume and 16% lighter. Skinny mini. So I cannot say this word. Silicon. No, that one also. Neural. N- I can't. Neural? N- Neural. No, okay, stop okay. it. Okay, okay here, we here we go. Here we go. Neural. Neur- <laughs> okay, now you go. Neural. Now you go. Neural. Neural. Did I do it? Is that right? Neural. Neural. Neural? You're thinking too much about I it. I am. In your neural capacities. So there's, okay, the words that I can't say. She says Eastern. I can't help Eastern. it. Eastern. Files. Fuck. Files? I've, been, I've been working on that one for like, Eight years. Files. Files. What do you say? I used to say fi- fulls. Fulls. Fills? Fulls. I, I don't know. Used to, is fi- I don't know. It wasn't right. My stomach is rumbling. Neural. I'm hungry. Did I say it right? Neural. Neural. Oh, I did it. Can you say neurological? Neurological. Okay. I can say that. So wonder where, where the- I don't know. Wonder where the- Disconnect. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, neural, neural disconnect. I'm saying it. I'm there saying it. Oh my gosh, we're learning. My problem. I don't really overthink things- but I overthink some things. Like when I'm Put training. Put that on a t-shirt and sell it. <laughs> <laughs> so like. Once we have merch, it'll be up there, but we'll forget. No, I understand. I get it. I like, understand. So even like my struggle with jujitsu is even if I'm doing something, like I have to be able to know this move perfectly or I can't move on doing something else. And then even we'll be in the middle of training or rolling or something. And I, I will just be like, hold on a second. What could I have done better? Like, why did I mess that up? And then people are just like, what do you, we can't, we're, but no. I'm totally fine moving on if I'm like, meh, it's good enough. Good Not en- good enough. Good enough. We will continue. Cheers uh, to the freaking we. No, we're not going to sing that song. No, we are not. We are not. I just found out. We, the just, artist. we are not supportive of that song. Mm. It's also, what day is it? We're recording this on Thursday morning. I wanted October to record 15th. this the other day and get it up earlier, but. But my eye was swollen. That's why I was telling the swollen eye story because I was like, my eye swollen. But now I'm like, look at me. Well, and I would have been way better than what you guys are getting right here. But I think we're going to wrap up this podcast because we are <laughs> with our family and I'm hungry and the dog needs a walk and I need a walk. I don't think that this, anything comprehensive is going to come out of I'm this. I'm so sorry, but I really want to let you guys know that Justine carried this. Well, basically I carried this all the way from Los Angeles and it was a lot of heavy equipment so that we could complete this podcast. We do want to get our sister on the yes. podcast for a very special edition of same brain i guess she she's not same brain no she's completely different brain but she if you guys do you want things. to have a more comprehensive rundown of everything that is in the 12 pro i did do a video and i think that i did a pretty good job covering everything because i was in the zone she was in the zone i also AutoZone. posted one do you think auto zone will want to sponsor our podcast Dude, that'd be cool we have cars get in the zone <laughs> auto zone we can shoot it from the back of a car i love it Anyway, guys, thank you for listening or watching. If you uh, don't know yet, we do have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash same brain. You can leave us uh, comments. We can yep. also leave us voice yep. messages, which we have been listening to on anchor.fm slash same brain, as well as written. You can also review us. Written. Written, written comments um, and reviews, as well as five-star ratings. Yes, we same appreciate Same brain podcast, Apple podcast. Thank you guys for all the support. You guys are great. Look at my leg. Sorry about this episode. It's a little sweaty and weird. I'm having fun. I'm in my jammies. Hello wasted. That's almost Halloween. I'm going to, you can find me in Animal Crossing during Halloween. Oh I'm going to go trick-or-treating. Sounds good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening, watching. We will see you again next time. Peace. the next episode of Sorry. Same Rain Podcast. I'm so sorry. Roll that outro that we apparently have. Did we have an outro last year? Yesterday? Last week? <laughs> I Just, don't know. We need to stop. We're done. I go now.